Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today is day number 82 since I've had my FUE hair transplant. I just got out of the shower. Uh, let me go ahead and show you guys how my hair looks like right now. Yeah, nothing too different from yesterday. Um, but as you guys can see, the hairs are continuing to grow. And it's a very, uh, it's, a, it's a slow process, uh, but with any hair transplant, you just really have to be uh, patient. Uh, look at all that hair from even at this angle here. There's a lot of hair growing. Now, you guys probably can't see from the uh, from the video, but I also have hair that's growing. Now these are baby Bella's hairs that are growing on areas that haven't been transplanted. So they're kind of like baby hairs growing like around here. You know, some of them are growing you know, in this area here where it's where it hasn't been transplanted. Now these are very uh, soft baby hairs, so they're not going to grow out like the transplanted hairs, but I think it's the finasteride that's um, helping these, these hairs grow. Now for some people, uh, finasteride is not going to you know, provide new growth. Um, it is going to help you maintain the hair that you have, but I'm seeing a little bit of extra baby uh, Bella's hair you know, around the temporal peaks and even close to my eyebrows. Um, obviously they're not transplanted hair, but I'm not going to complain. The more hair that I have, the better I am. <laughs> but yeah, here's how it looks. Um, now, when my hair dries, it also feels a lot thicker. Um, and by thicker, I mean more of kind of like that wiry feeling when I run my hands through my hair. Um, and I think that's from Biotin. Uh, it, it might also be for finasteride, but since I'm taking biotin with finasteride, um, the, the biotin actually helps thicken the hair. And so I feel that it's really doing a good job of just kind of helping increase the density and the overall health of my hair. Um, the hairs here, right here, um, some of these were actually they actually didn't shed uh, once I had my hair transplant, so that's why it's a lot thicker. And all of these hairs that's been transplanted is gonna grow out to the same density and uh, the shaft diameter as the hair in the back. Now, as far as the shampoos that I'm using, um, let me show you guys what I'm using here. It's, I'm using this one here, Avino. Um, it's sulfate free. Now, I've been using this even before I've had a hair transplant. Um, and I'm using this conditioner here. It's the Brazilian Keratin Therapy. Um, I'm not using any special hair products. You know, I honestly, I think it's a waste of money. I'm already taking finasteride and biotin and I have my hair transplant. So, um, you know, those are well, especially the uh, finasteride, it's FDA approved for hair loss. And so I feel like if I use the other products, um, you know, I feel like I don't need it. And I'm already paying about $22 a month on finasteride. So I mean, in a year, that's, that's over $200. So I think that medication alone is enough to uh, help maintain my hair. Um, but I've seen other people, uh, they had reviews on other hair, hair loss uh, shampoos. Um, and these, they seem to have good results, but for me, I think the medication, biotin, minoxidil, and my hair transplant results are going to be good. Uh, let me show you guys the back region, just, just so that you guys can see the donor area. Um, the scars are, um, they're not really detectable anymore because the hairs have been growing longer. But like I said, if I were to shave it down to you know, like a number zero, then you guys would definitely be able to see. But yeah, um, so everything's looking good. Now, let me also show you guys how my hair looks like when the light is dim. So I'm gonna turn down the lights here. 
Now, you guys can kind of see how my hair is going to look like once everything grows in. You can kind of see that, the outline of the hairline. Let's see, just like that. So it's probably going to put me back to like a Norwood 1, Norwood 1 and a half, which is almost no hair loss uh, on the, uh, the Norwood chart. So I can't wait till my hair grows in. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Feel free to subscribe, like my videos, and I'll keep you guys posted. Thanks for watching guys.